Okay, today I'm going to talk a little bit about how to animate a furniture item in MView. And really, I'm mainly going to talk about the way in which you build nodes, you weight uh, meshes to nodes, uh, you animate the nodes, and then export the nodes. And although this is a really simple example, it will definitely show you the foundation of how to animate any rigid animation in any product, whether it's a, a sofa with one animation or a room with you know, dozens of animations. But this is a good start and a good introduction. So I'm starting with this model that I built of a, a German a candle pyramid, or it's also called a candle carousel. And uh, I made sure when I was building it that I built it with an avatar nearby, just so I had a, it, a scale, so there was no surprises. I didn't want to import this into uh, to Imview's editor and all of a sudden discover it was like a 14-story skyscraper. So um, I'm going to hide the avatar right now, so I don't need her anymore. And um, this model is made of two pieces. There's the outer piece, which is going to be stationary, and it has some candles with uh, a texture of flame that will be animated when I'm in the, uh, the, the editor. And then I've got this central core, and it has the propeller on it, and it also has the carousel pieces. And I'm going to want that to spin around, uh, like the, the heat from the candles is causing the center shaft to slowly rotate. So I have everything I need to get started. I have uh, the fully textured and I vertex shaded uh, my little uh, candle carousel. And now it's time for me to start teching it, or basically bringing in the nodes that uh, are going to, uh, to have the, the geometry weighted to. So I'm going to start with the top view, and I'm going to look at it in wireframe, put the grid on just so I can see where it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a root node. So I go up into here, and I uh, select the, the Create tab. I'll go over and click on the helpers, which is a little tape measurer, and I click on dummy for a dummy node. I start in the center and I click and drag out uh, a square. And then the name is by default dummy001. I'm going to rename it root. And I'm going to look back at my uh, perspective view. And there it is. And I want to make sure that that root is going to be completely in the center of the world. So I'm going to uh, have my selection tool. I'm going to right click the selection tool and I'm going to change uh, the X, Y, and Z coordinates to zero. So all of them will be zero. Okay, and Z is zero. And uh, now this cube lives exactly in the center of this 3D space. And this root node is going to be the the handle by which I move uh, this around a, a room as I move it around the furniture nodes that are built into whatever room I'll be placing it into. So now I've got my root node. I'm going to go back to the top view, go back to the line again, and now I want to create an animation node. And you can't animate meshes. Well, you actually technically can animate meshes in Max, but if you want the uh, to MView client to be able to read the animation, you actually don't animate the mesh, you actually animate a, n a separate node and then you weight that part of the geometry or that mesh to that node. Uh, so what I have to do to first is I have to create that animation node, make sure that it's linked to my root node, and then when I'm done with that, then I can weight or skin that geometry to that node. So it'll become a little clearer as I go. So I'm going to create another helper or another dummy. Click on the dummy. I'm going to make a smaller uh, node just so I can tell the difference between the two. And uh, if I right click the selection tool, I'm going to make that also in the very center of the world. So I'm going to go to a front view. And then, so it's now in the center, it's a smaller node, and I'm going to drag it up so it's sort of roughly in the center of my, my little carousel here. And uh, I want to make sure it's, it's in the center of uh, this mesh as well. I've already set that up when I was building it, just so when I rotate the, the animation node and the mesh is connected to it, that it won't wobble, that it'll actually animate completely by the center of the propeller. 
Okay, the one last step that I want to make sure that I do is I want to make sure that I name this animation node properly as default. It's called dummy. I'm going to call it animation dot node. You can actually call it just about anything, just as long as you know that that's the node that's going to be doing the animating. So uh, here we go. We've got the uh, we've got my geometry. We have our two nodes. But before we start uh, skinning or weighting the mesh to the nodes, I want to make sure that the nodes are relating to each other properly. So I'm going to select both the uh, base and the carousel. I'm going to hide that right now. And so I've got my animation node and I have my root node and I have to make sure to link my animation node to the parent node to the root node so I select my animation node and I go up here to the upper left to the little chain icon the select and link and I'm gonna click and drag from that little teeny node to the bigger node and I'm just gonna try that again there we go and it's selected I'm gonna deselect the linking and if I go up to here to the uh, select by name, you should see that here's the root, and then here's my animation.node node underneath it. So it tells me that I'm good to go, that my animation node is uh, linked to my root node. So let me unhide all, hide my avatar again, Ooh, hide my selection, and now I'm ready to start. Uh, awaiting the meshes to the nodes and then I can start animating. Okay now that everything's set up I'm going to uh, start by exporting the skeleton node or skeleton file and let's say I'll turn off uh, the grid here and I'm going to select the root node and I'm going to go up and export let's bring this down here I'm going to export uh, an XSF file. And the reason I'm doing this right now is it's just really handy to get this really out of the way as early as possible. It's going to the desktop and I'm going to ch call this you know, candles.xsf and I click save. And what it shows me is it shows me my root node and it shows me that my animation node is parented to it. And I click finish. Okay, now that's out of the way. And so the first thing I want to do here is I want to make sure that the static element, the part of my, my furniture item that isn't going to be moving, is weighted to the node that won't be moving, which means that this part of my furniture item is going to be weighted or skinned to the static root node. So I select on the mesh, I go up to the modifier tab, I'm going to choose skin, and then it's going to ask me, you know, what am I going to be skinning to? I click the Add button. I choose Root. Select. Then I choose uh, Edit Envelopes. I pick uh, Vertices. And I'm going to grab and select all the vertices that are in my static base model. I will go down here to Come on to weight properties. I'm going to deselect, normalize, select rigid, and I want to make sure that I'm set to uh, ABS of a one, so that it's a sort of 100% affecting it. And then I'm going to turn off the uh, edit envelopes. Now I can go up to export, and I'm going to export my mesh, and that is an XMF file or a mesh file. And I'm going to call that candlebase.xmf. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask me what XSF file or skeleton file am I going to be attributing to uh, this, this, uh, this mesh to. And since I've already exported the XSF, by default, it'll always go back to the last XSF file that I have exported. So that's why I did that first. So as I'm exporting the meshes, I don't have to run into or worry about uh, which XSF file it's being attributed to. So click Next a couple times, and I finish. Okay, so now if I was to select the root node and move it around, the uh, mesh is attached to it or skinned to it. 
Next thing I want to do is I want to have this, this part of my model that I want to rotate. I'm going to have it skinned to not the root node, but the animation node. So once again, I click the skin button and I go down to the add button. And now I'm not going to pick root. I'm going to pick the animation node. Click select. Click edit envelopes. Click vertices. Try to scroll down here. Oops, I should, first I have to grab them all. So I'm going to select all the geometry on that, that rotating part of my model. Scroll down to deselect normalize in the weight properties. Select rigid and then I'm going to make sure it's set to, to 1. And I turn off edit envelopes and now I can export the mesh that will be animating which is my propeller and my carousel part. So I go to export and this is also an XMF. I'll call this um, handle center.xmf. And it's important to manually type in the suffix, in this case the XMF. Otherwise, it won't do it automatically and it will give you problems down the road. So I click Save. It asks me which XSF file is attributed to. That's all handled, so I just keep clicking Next. Okay, now if I were to reach in here and select this animation node and move it around, you can see that the center is connected to uh, that node. 